Hello, Swear back, and this time we have a special job here. This has been sent by a subscriber. Uh, the subscriber name is James. Okay, let's check his email. So James is saying, hi, sorry, long time subscriber here, and thank you so much for acknowledging the content that you provide. I'm 25 and be watching since I was 18, and I haven't learned so much. As embarrassing as this is, I have made a big mistake. I have replaced the USB-C charging port on Honor Magic Book 14, but I managed to damage four of the traces at the end of the port. I don't have the confidence acknowledged to repair the traces, but I'm not sure, and I'm not sure where I should, where I will need to run calibrated wires. <laughs> on the USB-C port is literally the last four traces on the motherboard. I was happy I was lucky, and those will be the ground, but not. Okay, what James is telling us in this email, it's absolutely nothing. And uh, I have to email uh, back and, you know, ask, okay, I got it. So some traces are broken. No big deal. But what is the problem with the motherboard? Oh, it's not working. It's not charging. So uh, pretty sure James probably missed the video, my videos, with uh, replacing this port on the Huawei motherboards. I do have a few videos replacing this port. Now, we should judge James' uh, work on this video. Hmm? We should uh, break his wings now, you know, because later on when he's getting confident, it's hard to break his wings. Yeah, So we should do it now, right? Name and shame, right? <laughs> Remember, I always told you, don't judge anyone, yeah? Because everyone on this hobby being a point to replace their first charging port. So if you judge this job, judge the repair based on what was your first charging port replacement or mine. But before that, how we are checking the job? Analyze precisely, very closely under the microscope, right? Wrong. It's only one way to test his work. Let's grab the charger, USB-C. Let's grab a meter, a USB meter. And he told me he doesn't have a USB power meter. Plug in the, yeah? Remember, four traces are missing. Check that. What he's saying? He's saying 19 volts. Yeah? The way I, ch I check and the way how I, uh, you know, appreciate a soldering job is like that. And it's good. If the meter is staying on, this is a perfect job. I don't care how the, the solder are looking. 19 volts. That means the charger is speaking with the PD controller. What James doesn't know is in order to have the USB uh, port to work, you need three wires. You need plus, minus, and data. That's all what you need. You're right. You have a bunch of pins there, but they are like for some data, high-speed communication, and that's not necessary in order to board to work. So this motherboard should be working perfectly but it doesn't. So why this motherboard is not working? Well, James missed my videos, but I'm pretty sure I will, you know, force him to watch now. We can watch together now, yeah? So you see, I press search on, uh, on my YouTube channel, Huawei port. And we, ha we have Huawei D14, then we have another Huawei, then another Huawei, and so on. Now, clicking on any laptop, on any video, check here, yeah, the port has been replaced, right? Mm -hmm. The laptop is not charging. You see, James, the laptop is not charging. You see, this laptop is complete. The battery is too low. You need to have the battery in order to charge. You see, you see. You see? So let's check yours, yeah? Let's connect the battery. Mm -hmm. Plug in the charger.
and he's doing the same thing like in the video. So you see on the battery saying the voltage, 7.6 volts. Let's check the voltage on this one, plus, minus, and we have 5.5, you can see. So here are two things. First, James didn't check the video. Second, James didn't check the battery voltage. And third, James doesn't have patience. Because even with this uh, like very, very low current, uh, you can see the voltage is still going slowly up. You can see that? So at some point, uh, this uh, motherboard, it will start charging normally. But like in the video, like in the video, So you see, that's the point I'm trying to make. That's the reason why I'm making those videos. So let's try together, yeah? Let's try together. Like in the video, let's check the current. It's too high, let's limit the current to about two amps, right? Yeah, and we are coming with plus and minus. Minus and plus, and the battery is charging with two amps. The board is still not taking current. Check there. 300, 400 milliamps, you can see, you can see. And now if you watch that video, you will see on some point the motherboard current, it will jump uh, probably a few amps. That's all what you have to do, but you didn't see the video. <laughs> do you see? It's all about, you know, you spend some money for, you know, for the postage, sending the board here, when actually the board is perfect. You've done a good job. So uh, we have 400 milliamps. Obviously, I can take the power supply, the, the charger, it will still charge the battery. And we can check that. 400 milliamps, it's a lot of current. Check that is 6.6 .6 volts, and the voltage is going up. Huh? You can see. Good. Just to speed up the process. Yeah, because I'm same. Uh, I'm not patient. Same like you, James. So uh, I will uh, help the battery. And I will try to push more current in order to charge this battery. So uh, I will fast forward till the moment. Uh, we're going to see here high current. Check there. 1 amp. 1.3. 1.5. 1.7, 2 amps, you can see, that's the max current. So I'm going to take the power supply and the board is still charging with 2 amps. Hmm? Check there, 2 amps. So you see, your board is charging fine. Now the next logical question. Okay, sorry, you proved the point, the board is charging, but it is coming on? Well, the CPU is cold like hell, so I'm supposed this motherboard is not working. Because this particular uh, laptop, it will not start till the moment the battery, it will have a certain level. This is one of those laptops, uh, the motherboard it will not work without a charged battery. So uh, I will say just wait, yeah, let's wait for the battery to get charged a little bit, and the motherboard should start. I'm going to fast forward this uh, this video. Okay, I believe the board uh, just started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the HDMI from the microscope here. Now let's switch on the Microsoft uh, microscope uh, scene. No signal. Okay, let me... Not sure if this board is on.
Okay, now the current is going up 1.2 amps. Check that, not boot device. Can you see on the screen? Huh? So that's a message from the motherboard. Yeah, no boot device. So the motherboard just started. And that's the, that's the story with this motherboard. Hmm, James? Huh? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? So you did a great job, but your problem is you don't have patience. I mean, if you left the, this motherboard on charge for a few hours, uh, the board, it will start. Yeah, check the heat sink, it's hot. Now, just, you know, for the love of the content, let's check the charging port to get down under the microscope and see what you did there. It's not because I'm judging, it's just, you know, trying to make... Uh, uh, try to spot what you got wrong on this uh, repair. Now, missing traces. Uh, I can't see it. I can't focus the microscope. Uh, okay, probably now it's fine. Yeah. I can't see any missing track here. I mean, all looks like solder. We checked, we bend the. Uh, yeah. The mistakes you made first, you use. Uh, you see this uh, uh, soldering flux, gel soldering flux. I will not use something like that from the simple reason you can't clean it properly, you can see. And if you cannot clean it properly, you cannot apply here UV gel or hot glue. You mean those tracks? Yeah, this one is moving. This one is ground, this one is ground. So you see, the, those thingies, you can solder them together, yeah? Those, you can solder them together because they are plus. So that's what you mean with missing tracks? I'm pretty sure you missed my video because I, I mentioned on that video, uh, how you deal with those kind of uh, repairs, especially on this particular Huawei. But otherwise, your charging port job is looking good. Another mistake is you are not using low melt soldering wire. Low melt meaning 180 degrees, which is a decent melting temperature, yeah? I could say like 140, but I didn't say 140, I say like 180. That's why you melt the plastic, because you use excessive heat. I mean, you know, there is a reason why I st stick on eBay soldering wire 180 degrees. And you'll think, no, sonny, no, no, you just try to make some money. Well, I'm making some money, but not because... That's the purpose and that's the idea. Okay, let's sort in, make some money. It's because people ask me, from where I can buy that, from where I can buy that. And if I give them links, yeah, from the other people from the eBay, you can buy fake soldering wire. Yeah, I, I bought it. I'll show you. Just give me one second, one second. You see those? Check here. You see those? Those are fakes, yeah? And I will show you, I will show you the case because I open a case against the seller. So check here, check here, because I, uh, it took me a while to find this guy. So he delete uh, his conversation after uh, uh, after he found me. He made me a liar. He said me, he told me, but he delete all his messages. He told me, you know, I'll uh, I'm I'm just want the free stuff, and that's the reason why I opened the return. I told him, you know, he your soldering wire is getting melted at two hundred eighty degrees. Not at, at 180 degrees, how I bought this uh, soldering wire. I mean, he may be a liar. You can believe that? He told me I want free stuff. And after that, after that, uh, he delete uh, he delete all his comments. I'm just saying a lot of fake stuff uh, there on the internet. And uh, all I'm trying to do is to provide, you know... Um, whatever is advertised on the on the product 
Okay, let's quickly solder those wires, those pins, sorry. 180 degree solder wire. We need a little bit of uh, rosin. Perfect. Actually, actually, I think this is a uh, low melt solder. That's what I think. Okay, so you solder those pins all together like that and those pins together. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Perfect. Probably you can't see because of the shiny thingy. Yeah, like that. Like that is better. So we solder that three pins together and uh, the plus two pins together. That's what we did. But even before it was working fine. Don't get me wrong. So probably you have three pins for ground, two pins for plus. So probably you solder one pin for ground at least and one for plus, which will work fine. Let's test it one more time. Plug in the battery. Perfect. And you can see the charging current is going up. Yeah, this board is not starting straight away. Uh, and the power button is connected behind on that. Uh, uh, yeah, it's because the BIOS doesn't have any voltage. Yeah, zero volts on the BIOS. So you have to press the power button and then the board, it will start. It's not like if you reset the BIOS, you take out the battery, the battery, the board, it will start itself. Not this one. Okay. So hopefully you got this right, James. Yeah. All you need is more uh, self-confidence. Uh, you did a, a, a job which I will do it uh, even myself. So as the soldering job, no issues at all. The problem is the gel flux, yeah, you can't clean it and you cannot apply, uh, if you apply UV gel or hot glue, it will not uh, hold to the, the pins. So try to use rosin flux. And next time, try to have a look on my videos because, uh, you know, there are like a thousand videos and uh, I have with this particular board, I think I have two or three videos where I'm showing how I connect the pins, how I, you know, group the pins, like the ground pins, three pins with two pins for plus, and a lot of tips and tricks. Okay? Fantastic. I'm happy. I'm happy I help uh, James, and hopefully this video, it will be helpful for you. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, just like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.